Hi, I'm Michael Chen. This is my partner, Sam Wen. We started Fantasia in 1997. We both love tea. We're very difficult to find a good color tea, let alone the tea drinks. So boba, we think, is a perfect match with tea. It's trendy and something that back then you cannot find it anywhere here. Why does boba tea become so popular in the, in the area? So the tea is healthy. And the second one, tea is more versatile, meaning that you can play a lot of games with tea. But tea is more subtle, so that's why you see a lot of varieties. And also, it's a perfect combination with boba. Tea itself, a tea and milk, tea and creamer, a um, lot of combination you can play with. And you never get tired of it because there's so many creations, so many variations you can create. Before the boba tea, the coffee drinks is more popular. But you can think this way, the coffee cannot mix with the fruits. The tea can mix with uh, like a strawberry, mango, honeydew, those flavor really well. Now more and more people appreciate tea. And after today, we, we still have loyal customers. But the way I say it, I, I, I'm, I'm more thinking about tea versus boba. But boba and tea, although it's a very good combination, but I think tea ultimately is the most important thing. It has the has best health benefit, taste, and boba is just the perfect complement to that. Boba world is become like a culture now, especially in the young generations. When they get together, they, they always, a lot of them just think, oh, let's go find a boba shop and get together. And the way I found about boba was through my mom. I actually remember in elementary school, my mom took me to Lee's Sandwiches this one time and they had a promotion with boba and my mom was like, oh, you should try it. And honestly, I kind of hated it at first because um, I wasn't used to it at all. Like I thought it was strange to like chew while I'm drinking something, but I really like boba because, well, first of all, I'm Indian, so the concept of putting black tea with milk and sugar is very familiar to me. Boba kind of has that familiarity. The first time I heard about boba was probably when I was in college at San Jose State. This was probably around 2008, 2009, um, although I know it was pretty big before then. Well, I haven't tried boba before, one, because I'm not a big fan of sweets. And then two, I feel like, uh, especially growing up, I feel like boba was such a niche culture when I was growing up that I, I was a part of. And then as soon as I got like older and I got into college, then like everybody started drinking boba. The reason I feel boba got so popular in the Bay Area is because uh, boba is a Taiwanese drink. So it's like, a, it's like an Eastern Asian drink. And here in the Bay Area, especially in Santa Clara County, we have like a very uh, large Asian population. And then they have such a strong um, influence on the culture here in the South Bay. Before I knew it, boba was just it was just every, all cultures drank boba. And to be quite honest, when I go to other places, I'm surprised that it's not, it's not as big in other places, just for how big of a staple it is here in the Bay Area. Um, sometimes when I go to the East Coast and they don't have boba shops or people have never heard of boba, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just amazed. The reason I feel boba got so popular in the Bay Area is because boba is a Taiwanese drink. So it's like a, it's like an Eastern Asian drink. And here in the Bay Area, especially in Santa Clara County, we have like a very uh, large Asian population. And then they have such a strong um, influence on the culture here in the South Bay. Before I knew it, boba was just, it was just every, all cultures drank boba. Like, and to be quite honest, when I go to other places, I'm surprised that it's not it's not as big in other places just for how big of a staple it is here in the Bay Area. It can bring people together. Like I know in my experience that whenever we had school projects, groupmates would normally be like, okay, we can meet over Boba and discuss this kind of stuff. 
So it was just a nice way to bring people together. And also the fact that the Bay Area is known for being so culturally diverse. And so the Asian Americans here, we sort of latch onto it. Other people become more interested in it. And, you know, it's something unique. Every sort of culture usually has some sort of drink or tea. Usually those things are associated with social activities. And I know for a lot of Asian cultures, there's tea ceremonies and offering people tea when they step into your home is like a very common tradition. So it sort of takes the, those traditions and makes it a, a more modern thing for other people to enjoy. 